How you doing guys? Good morning. Dragon Man here. I'm in the Colorado Springs Military Museum and we're all, my whole crew is pretty excited. Uh, we open up the museum April 9th on a Sunday at 10 o'clock. And then after that it'll be open every Sunday at 10 o'clock, Wednesday and Friday at 10 o'clock. No reservations needed. You just uh, show up before 10 o'clock on those three days and we take you through my military museum. My military museum is separated in three different sections. Uh, we got a room for every major war that the U.S. was in, going all the way back to George Washington, 1789. So we got the rooms, uh, we got the vehicles, and we got the hot rod museum. So all three sections you go through. It takes about two hours. Okay, guys, real fast, let me show you some of the vehicles I have here. Uh, over here is the uh, Vietnam era M43 ambulance. I have every American half track, seven of them. These are M37s, Vietnam era uh, pickup trucks. And uh, no matter where you go in the United States, you're not going to see a better setup than what I set up here. Okay, over here we got the command cars, we got the half ton, the three quarter, we got all the Jeeps. I got about 28 Jeeps uh, going all the way back to 1940, experimental Jeep. We got the recoilless rifle uh, Jeep over here, uh, the M38A1. Over here, the first Vietnam uh, Jeep, uh, 1960, let's see, 1960 to 151. Oh, we got the Mighty Might, we got the uh, armored personnel carriers. I show people all the trailers. Uh, this is my uh, T54 Russian tank. We got the half tons, experimental Jeeps. Uh, over here, we got the staff cars. Uh, 1941, 1942, and you come around the turn here, uh, we got about six uh, machine gun bunkers in the museum uh, with laser lights, sound effects, and uh, you're really going to learn a lot if you come see my museum. Uh, this is the CCKW, Deuce and a Half World War II. We got the Gamma Goat, uh, we got the M16 half track, see with the quad mounts. Come around the turn here, we got all the Hummers, the Humvees, all four different types that they made back then. Okay, over here, we got the 151A2s, M37s, Vietnam. If you were in Vietnam, you're definitely going to recognize all these vehicles. They were all over the place. Okay, over here, we got the uh, Vietnam era, deuce and a half. We got the M35s. Okay, we got the Weasel. Hey, come down here. I got a total of 92 military vehicles to show people, and all kinds of uh, bunkers. This is the uh, the mortar, 81 millimeter mortar bunker. Over here we got more jeeps. Uh, we got troop carriers. Uh, we got the bomb truck over here, the gamma goats. Uh, this here's the tug that pulls the uh, bomb trailer, the 500 pound bombs uh, to load up the B-24, B-25, B-17 bombers. Here's the Mighty Mike, the F-1 Jeep for the Marines in Vietnam, made out of aluminum. Okay, I show people my landline display. Okay, you come around here. We got the MV Jeep, experimental slash grill. Uh, we got the GPW, Ford. Okay, you come over here. We got the ambulances, Vietnam era, the M-43. Uh, we got the half tons, 1941 to 42. We got the M15 half tracks, the M2 half track, the M3 half tracks. Over here's the Cario, 1942 Cario, very very rare. 1966 M43 ambulance, fully equipped. Uh, we got the uh, WC51, uh, three quarter ton, 1943 to 45. We got the Ben Hutt trailers, the three quarter uh, Cario, uh, more M37s, and over here's the oldest vehicle I have. Uh, we got the 1918 staff car and 1917 uh, troop carrier and weapons carrier. The serial number is 147. They only made a thousand of them. And look at this, the original tools from 1917 that was issued to the U.S. Army uh, that was in all the vehicles back then in World War I. Okay guys, so if you want to learn a lot about military history, Come see me this summer. Any questions, give me a call. 719-683-2200. You guys have a great day. Maybe I'll see you this summer. Thank you for watching.